hello welcome to my channel today I'm Tara with pieces of Tara artistry so I'm working on a 10 by 20 canvas here I'm showing you how I prep my canvas um, I just normally do the edges but I put too much paint on the whole uh, canvas so I just ended up painting the whole canvas but the reason for that is to get the edges tacky so the design sticks so this is the pearl cell recipe that I use. If you wanna know how I mix those paints, I do have a video. Um, I will link it above as well as in the description below. And um, I am gonna be working with a little bit of color today. So um, this is my second canvas in sort of this color scheme. Um, but I kind of wanted to try uh, doing something, a pearl, pour with the Dutch pour which I like to do normally but I wanted to do kind of minimal pearls and negative space so you'll see me um, doing that here just kind of putting on uh, some thin ribbons of paint uh, and then I will just go ahead and stretch those out Now you guys may have seen a link come up um, on metallics versus mats, and some of you were able to still access that video, but um, that was actually Patreon uh, content. And so if you were able to see it, great. Otherwise, the link is now um, not being able to see. So that's probably, I've had some questions on that. So that's probably why um, I do have a Patreon account. I'm working on getting content on there. So um, that will be different than here on YouTube. Um, so if you want to go over there, check it out. Um, I will put the link in the description box. So I'm just here back to this painting, um, stretching to get the pearls to pop up. So I stretch one way and I stretch the other um, just to really get that paint um, stretched thin so that those pearl cells can pop through those paints. I really like these colors. I made the, they're both custom colors um, using cobalt blue uh, in the one, the darker gray, and just some, um, I think it was yellow ochre. And then the other one is sky blue light and white mixed with um, just a had a uh, black so um, I am going to do a Dutch pour so my <laughs> this year I am going to start trying to work with more colors you know you guys know I love the blues and I do a lot of blues but I am going to start venturing into more different colors exploring different color combinations and different techniques so stay tuned for that um, I am just learning the bloom technique and so I've got a couple of videos and I'm gonna keep working on that too just trying out some different things and changing things up a little bit so I did not like these harsh lines that were left in that blowout so I am going to do the blowout again um, I really liked the way that looked other than those that middle section with those lines so I was a little disappointed to have to redo it but that's okay I went ahead and just re-blew it out. I liked the outcome. Um, I felt like it needed a little bit more color balance, so I added in a, another little area up in the corner, but I didn't want to change too much of that section. So you'll see I just added the color in just a very small area. Now, let me know what you guys think of this one. I do show the wet and dry results. I think it turned out pretty cool, but you guys... Um, let me know what you think. If you like what you're seeing, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified each time I put out a new video. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I read and reply to every single comment. So, okay, you guys have a good one, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.